Hi, Tour Tour. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Taurus placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, and your donations. I'm sending you a lot of peace, love, happiness, joy, healing, and light on your journey, Taurus. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platforms. Um, thank you guys for your bookings for my personal readings. I'm going to open the booking thing back up. I'm just trying to get a few more of the readings out before I be overwhelmed. I don't like feeling overwhelmed like I got too much shit to do. <laughs> I don't like that. So they're closed for right now, but they're getting ready to open up. I'll let you guys know when they reopen. So um, let's see, Taurus. Let's see what's going on with you. Um, did I say Flip the roles, switch the roles, okay? Wherever you fit at in the stories, where you fit. If you don't fit at all, don't take the message, okay? It's really important. <laughs> like, for real. Um, but let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work. Any dark magic that seems to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones are turning back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through spirit. Protect me as I channel the messages for my tour tours. Something about a picnic. Okay, somebody could, you could be going on a picnic or. Uh, I'm saying like somebody on a lot of land or something. So you could be looking at land to purchase for, like you could be building a home or you're looking for a shop for a business. But I see like a lot of land with a lot of grass. You have acres of land here. What else was I getting, Spirit? Uh, but I'm also seeing like a, um, it's like a busy city or something like that. Pisces just had something like that on their cars, but it's like a busy city, but you're looking for like a park. Yeah, like a park with a lot of grass for something. I don't know, I don't, maybe you could be going to do yoga or you're meditating a lot more. Or you just need to go touch some grass, okay, hug a tree. Yeah, I don't know, but it's like a park or something. I don't know. Somebody's name could be Destiny. I'm hearing George. I'm hearing Sanaya. That's pretty. Rachel. Okay, let's see Taurus. Uh, what's going on for Taurus? Power couple. It say King Clean Vibes, Money Moves, Business Mindset, period. <laughs> okay, period. So what else? Capping. <laughs> Gaslighting, bold face lies, all talk. <laughs> somebody here could be in this fake ass relationship. There's somebody in a fake ass relationship that's lying. It's coming to light. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. This could be a Virgo here. You could have Virgo in your chart. But somebody capping about them being a power couple or somebody trying to convince you that y'all could be a power couple and you're like, no, you know damn well that's not true. <laughs> This could be some sort of like enlightenment too about how you and somebody could be a power couple. So you could be awakening to that fact or this is this person. You could be having a lot of like past life dreams or something like that, Taurus. So there is something good about a past life that's very significant here. Maybe with this person. I'm seeing like the older days, like somebody here I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> what else, Spirit? Retreat. It's an introspection, hermit, figuring it out. Yeah, Virgo. Somebody got Virgo in their chart. Okay, yeah, there go another lantern. Yeah, there's two lanterns here. So there could be two people that's coming into a... a that's um, enlightened. Or coming into alignment with each other. I feel 
like this being you here retreating. I feel like somebody, your person could be doing this towards, your person could now be retreating or like really looking at something differently. I feel like this you that's been retreating. This could be this person that's realizing that something is capped about a situation in their life. <laughs> okay. Child knocked up. Pregnancy, children, unexpected. Fake woke. We got shade there. So somebody here could be pregnant. That should have been coming out too. A lot. Hypocritical, ulterior motives, talking circles. <laughs> somebody don't want to hear something that somebody got to say, man. Especially if this is a feminine, a karmic feminine that's pregnant by somebody else. I know somebody do not want to hear that shit. <laughs> like, bitch, you need to go on ahead for your, for your ass get cursed out and embarrassed. What else? <laughs> I'm channeling a lot. Yeah, bye, Felicia. Yeah, go on. Somebody. <laughs> Goodbye, lesson learned next. Yeah, it's like, no. So this is somebody that just came into some sort of enlightenment about somebody. I feel like you've been new, Taurus. Or it could be flip. Flip the roles, right? Netflix and chill. Intimacy, quality time, cuddling. Right here, really trying it. Let's see. It looks like an elf, or is that? Yeah, it looks like an elf, a dwarf. Something could be happening around Christmas or something, December. Anyways, Taurus, <laughs> like, I feel like I just channeled all over the place. Um, What's that? Key sweat twisted? <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing that. Got the lyrics, y'all. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. It's a message there. <laughs> you know you are my lover. You know you want my loving. You got me twisted over you. Yeah. Got me twisted over you. I know I got it. Something, something. I know I got what you need. Baby, I love you so, but you don't feel like I do. Tell me what can I do, but I gotta be strong. Did me wrong when I thought that we were really down. So you say you want me. Make up your mind, because I'm not going to be here for long. <laughs> Hmm. Somebody ran out of time for something. <laughs> they ran out of time. Let's see. What's uh <laughs> what's this power couple here for Taurus Spirit? Two cups. <laughs> and it's a strong connection. Very strong connection that you and this person have. <laughs> Okay, so there's there's a relationship here, Taurus. Okay. There's a nice relationship. Okay, let's see what's power couple with the two cups. The magician is manifesting, child. It's manifest. Somebody got clear, like they got clarity about this relationship. <laughs> they are clear. Something is very clear to somebody. Virgo Gemini. Whatever somebody is man, this is this is you manifesting a beautiful connection, Taurus. Okay, that's what that is. We ain't got to spend too much time on that. I feel like both of y'all could be standing in your power. Both of y'all manifesting each other. Y'all both want the same thing. You got the tools, the resources, the mindset, everything that you need. You got everything to manifest, whatever this is. Okay? You are manifesting the fuck out of this connection. Period. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's manifesting too, though. Your manifestations are coming through. We ain't even got to do all the clarifying. I'm not doing all that. Because <laughs> we don't have to. What's capping? So, 
Okay, yeah. Page of Swords in reverse. Somebody is gossiping, lying about something. This could be somebody you stop speaking to, like, and every time, I feel like every time this person says something to you, you got to say something to them, they're very sarcastic or, like, rude. Okay, like, somebody's a liar, though. There could be a lot of gossiping and shit going on that's lies. Somebody's realizing that somebody's capping. Yeah, it's coming out with the tower. Something. Somebody keeps lying and shit. What's capping? Somebody just talks too fucking much. Like, all they do is talk, 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 talk. They don't ever talk about what's going on in their life and how things are working out for them. Or they ain't never talking about shit that's pertaining to them. It's always about somebody else and what they're doing. What's capping with the page of swords in reverse? So with swords in reverse, yeah, this something has came out. Something has been revealed. Just period. Three swords. Could be something about a third party, an ex. Or somebody that broke your heart could be a friend, family member, whoever the fuck. But the two of swords in reverse, Libra Moon, something is, has been revealed. Somebody has made a clear decision to stop talking to somebody because they know that they all capped. The light has came on. The light has been shown on somebody's weird ass. So whatever they're saying is a lie. They're capping. You know, my attitude really switched. Like, shit be so good. But my attitude really switched when I see shit like that. I don't like it. I don't like because you ain't got no reason to do that. I don't give a fuck how bad you hurt, bitch. Learn how to be strong. <laughs> Learn how to take that shit up with God. Don't fucking get mad and then start being mean and shit. Like that's what that's why I be talking shit. That's if you notice, that's the only time I get mad and irritated because people be doing clown shit all the time. What's the page of swords in reverse? Like, yeah, bold face lie. It's like bold face lies. Somebody's a liar, liar, pants on fire. The chariot, cancer. What's the page of swords in reverse with the chariot? The queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles came out. Who does queen of pentacles? The strength card. That could be you, Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have Cappy somewhere in your chart or Leo. Yeah, I feel like you overcame some sort of lies or, or bullying behavior or just a bunch of gossip here. I feel like you're still very grounded. You're stable. This could be something going on at your job or at your work or about what you do for work. Because the Queen of Pentacles is a healer, but they could be, you know, you don't mind being called a witch. I know I don't. You could be a witch here. <laughs> okay, period. You're a healer, a witch. They, same thing. Okay, same thing, literally. So, and I feel like you're just very confident. You're very strong. And you're doing whatever whatever it is that you do, you're confident in it. Yeah, somebody did something or lied to get somebody to stop talking to you or to get you to shut up about some shit. It's like, bitch, you need to shut the hell up. <laughs> you need to shut the fuck up, actually, and stop running your fucking mouth. That's what it sounds like to me. And the chariot, yeah, this is you moving forward. You're determined to move forward here. You ain't... There's somebody here that you're not talking to because you know they're a liar. You know that they're a liar. And I feel like, you know, you're just moving the fuck on. Just period. What's the two of swords in reverse? Yeah, the high priestess. Mm-hmm. Your intuition is telling you everything you need to know. There's somebody here that just won't accept what the truth is. This person... Somebody's in denial about something. They just won't accept what the truth is about you. It's like, bitch, accept it and move on. <laughs> like, for real. You know? Pisces here with the high priestess. What's the two of swords in reverse with the, hand, uh, the high priestess? The seven of wands. You could be blocking something out. It could be energy. I feel like your energy is very strong right now, Taurus. Like, you're energetically letting people know, like, you're not the one to play with, bitch. You can get blocked quick. Seven of Wands, you can get blocked quick. Return to the sender, banish it, whatever you're doing. It could be something spiritual, the high priestess with the Seven of Wands. I got I think I got this for Leo the day before yesterday or something. I feel like it's becoming clear about who's trying to, like, energetically get, like, interfere It's something that you already know. This is why you, you're so defensive. You have your guards up or your intuition. There's something that's just very clear to you. Something that you maybe can, need to continue to fight for or work through. 
Okay, because you know that, yeah, whatever somebody is trying to say or do is like, it's cap. It's, you can't play on your mind no more. It's bullshit. It's lies. It could be things that are trying to interfere with your mind to tell you that something is not going to work or it's not what it is. You know that that's a lie. You know that that's not your energy. That's not your voice in your head. That's somebody else trying to project energy onto you is what I'm getting. You know, like somebody is projecting some shit. What's the high priestess with the seven of wands? So I feel like energetically you're setting boundaries. Whatever you got to do to set boundaries. Yeah, look, the queen of the king of pentacles. Yeah, wow, we got the king to the queen. That's that power couple energy. So whatever somebody trying to tell you about a relationship that you know is meant to be here for you, bitch, you're, you're believing it now. You see it. It's very clear. Some of y'all could have put up some sort of protection for this person. This could be your masculine, but this is you, Taurus, with the king of pentacles. But we do have the king of... Your person could have Taurus in their chart, too. But somebody really listening to their intuition, I feel like... um. You're just too balanced. You're too strong to be moved by some fucking energy interference or by somebody's negative words or whatever the gossip is. Yeah, the truth is here. You see that somebody's just a loser, the devil himself. <laughs> like, just move on, child. So let's retreat here. Judgment. Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there's a decision here about leaving something in the past. Letting go of the past, releasing it. There's an awakening because somebody has some sort of rose tinted view of the past. They're seeing why they've been stagnant, stuck. Like, it's really becoming clear to somebody. Somebody's going through an awakening, learning some sort of karmic lessons. And yes, releasing the past. But somebody has had rose, a rose tinted view of the past. They couldn't see clear. So, yeah, this is like you being tested or going through a test or you just, you could be, yeah, you could be like forgiving your past or something like that. Because I feel like maybe past shit could be coming up. Maybe like energetically for you to like clear. Maybe they're not coming in the physical. But it's like getting you prepared for whatever this is you're trying to manifest. It's important that you say goodbye to the past. So that's what's happening. <laughs> Why is my son doing that? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's what's happening. Very straight to the point, Taurus. Very straight to the points, honey. Not no need to keep, you know. What's the judgment? Let me see. The wheel? Yeah. What's the judgment with the wheel? The King of Wands. The King of Wands came out in reverse for Pisces. But, you know, Leo energy. Who is King of Wands right here? Yeah, they came out like this in Pisces. Who the King of Wands with the Four of Pentacles? The Knight of Cups. Yeah, this could be, I feel like this is something about your past, Taurus. This is somebody you dated in the past here. You had romantic feelings for in the past. Okay, and I feel like they've been trying to hold on to you. I feel like you're forgiving them so you can move forward on your journey. I'm also getting this King of Wands too could be, yeah, because we got two masculines sitting up here. This King of Wands could also be your masculine where, um, or you could be in this masculine energy, just flip the roles, where somebody is taking action. They're finally being a leader. They're, um, They've taken their power back in the situation. They're going after the things that they like really desire and learning like self-discipline as far as far as um their dating life goes. And it could be I hear something about somebody's finances too. Somebody here could be um getting ready to be getting ready to step into their purpose of like being some sort of uh entrepreneur, whatever whatever their purpose is. Somebody's like remembering their past lives or what they were doing in a past life or something like that. This is very deep here, but. Someone is finally following their heart. 
I'm also getting like a heightening of intuition. Like whatever, this is a very strong connection between you and somebody. You could be saving up for something, Taurus, or this this person that's saving up, but someone is going through an awakening. It's major. Somebody too is realizing that they can't release something. Something cannot be let go of. Or something that somebody was holding on to is being released. They're awakening to the fact that they need to forgive their past. But this person here, something is coming back towards. They they realize that they can't let you go. They still got feelings for you. They're too strong. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> like it, it's just not moving. Especially if this is a counterpart. Like that, those feelings will never go away ever. You can try to hide or pretend like. That's what I'll be trying to figure out. Like if this is your counterpart, like your twin, people be trying to like downplay the relationship like all parts of it now it's that this one flame journey is not just about i mean well it is it is about strictly healing it is but i'm saying like the romantic feelings the feelings that you have for your person those are going to get stronger <laughs> every time y'all level up in your journey spiritually they're going to get stronger they might go away for a minute and you might get confused for a minute that's that's a part of the journey though it's a process so it happens, but the feelings are only going to get stronger as you change and go through your transformation and not resist it. A lot of y'all could be resisting your transformation. And this is that's the only reason why twins don't get together. I can promise you that. Twins are not just made to separate and then go part their ways. Or they're, they're not made to heal and then part ways. That's karmics. Twin flames are meant to come back together at some point in their journey. So whether y'all be romantic or not, that's on you. <laughs> but they're supposed to be together. So that way they can fulfill this purpose. People get twins and comics mixed up, mixed up. And this is not everybody's story. This is not everybody. So, you know, don't beat me up in the comments uh, about this shit. I can only, look, I'm only going off experience and the wisdom that I carry from my own journey. And y'all know I'm a realist. I ain't got time to be sitting up here lying to nobody. <laughs> lying about anything. So, but yeah, you know. Different strokes for different folks. And if you're on a twin flame journey, though, all that shit the same. <laughs> like, just different people, different dynamics. But at the end of the day, you're going to be pushed into your shadow work. And if you resist it, then you're just going to suffer. That's just what the real is. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's not going to be cute or easy or any of that. It's either you're going to surrender or you're not. And when you don't, and you know that you got a purpose to fulfill or whatever it is, maybe, it's going to be tough. It's also something that I learned as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I've been on both sides, the runner and the chaser. Because when you're running away, it's still the same thing. It's still, you need to heal something. When you're chasing, you need to heal something. It's all going to, it's all going to, no matter how you swerve and, and slide around or whatever, like how many detours or hidden paths, it's all going to lead back to the same shit, all of it. So, you know, it's up to you. <laughs> For like whoever this is though. Same shit I got for Pisces. Go watch Pisces reading. That reading was long, but go watch it. Same shit I got for Pisces. But um, let's see. What's by Felicia? The star. I'm going to cover her up. Damn, they naked too. What the fuck? The star, the lovers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because something is manifesting. Gemini, Aquarius. This relate. There's a, there's a partnership. That's manifesting. This could be a kindred spirit, a soulmate. This could be, yeah, kindred spirits could be friends or romantic. Okay, this could be soulmates here. Some of y'all that are not on this level in your journey yet, that you, when you're ready to actually manifest a really healthy, long-term, successful, power couple kind of relationship, you still have lessons to learn, but you're still leveling up though. And that's fine. You know what I'm saying? As long as you keep moving and all the shit is faded, you don't know if somebody next is going to be a lesson or a blessing. You just got to go with it. That's, that's the trick here with these, with life just in general. When people stop surrendering, then they will be somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Everybody needs to change their mindset, you know? But you can be dealing with an Aquarius or Gemini. Yeah, the star and the lovers, though. These these are these are naked people here, too. All of them are naked. There's, there's going to be a lot, of, I feel like, vulnerability in this situation. Or you and this person are going to be very comfortable with one another. This is a very spiritual and divine connection. It was written in the stars. Something is written in the stars here between you and somebody. It's God ordained. It's going to be what it's going to be. So this is a good omen. This is a wish coming through. This is you needing to keep faith that you and somebody are coming together. 
Yeah, stay positive, stay optimistic, you know, stay in good spirits. Do whatever you got to do right now, Taurus, to keep in good spirits. Because I'm telling you, I feel like something is so close that you can taste it. Like, you don't need to get sidetracked or any of that. What's the star? Yeah, healing with the, yeah. Yeah, you and somebody are coming together. Don't come here with no drawers. I mean, with your, with your drawers on. <laughs> like, you need to go put on some shorts or something. What's, what's the star? Yeah, look, the emperor. <laughs> your masculine. You pray for a divine masculine or your actual masculine. Some of y'all know this, your masculine. You already know who this is. For others of you, they coming. You know, but it's different levels. So if you are meeting your divine masculine, but they're in karmic energy at the time, I feel like you're going to know who your twin flame is. You're going to feel them on a soul level, especially once y'all separate. Like once y'all really hit rock bottom and you get tired of this person being closed off, because that's usually how they are or whatever. And you just drop them and let them go. That's when you're going to be like, damn, you know, I really can't get over this person. This person is like stuck. <laughs> like I'm stuck. I know for me, when I when I separated from my twin, because when I had enough of his shit, I'm like, okay, well, you can be quiet and close off and we can act like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Can you get the chocolate cake for me? Did you have your breakfast? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll get it for you in a minute. Give me a second. Yeah, like once he once he did what he did or whatever, I know what happened. I'm not gonna say it though. But once he did what he did, I'm like, okay, bet <laughs> we ain't even gotta we ain't even gotta you know what I'm saying. Do all that because I ain't even about to play with you, and I'm not even about to act like we not going, we not supposed to be here because we are. And he was just my he wasn't going for it. Okay, but he he was under a lot of spell work and like I didn't see him a couple times. He just looked different. The energy is just different. I'm just like, yeah, something is, something's going on with you. <laughs> I see something's going on with you. I'm going to figure it the fuck out. I'm going to figure it out. And I'm here today. <laughs> Didn't figure it out. But, but yeah, yeah, look, the Empress. So this is a twin flame connection that I'm feeling like. Somebody's in a twin flame connection. Okay, somebody. But uh, this is making me go back to my own thing. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting personal with y'all. But I feel like it's cool, though. It's cool. It should be. I mean, I should be able to talk to y'all. Like, it's nothing really, no big secret. Some shit is, <laughs> but some shit is, most shit is not. Like, you know? But, no, I was I was telling you that once you, like, separate or whatever, and it's because I noticed, like, okay, when I stop talking to a guy, it's like, okay, well, bye. <laughs> like, we don't, I'm, I'm cool. I'm going to be moving on. I'm going to sit and think about the shit and just, you know, see what I did wrong. If I ain't do shit wrong, you know what I'm saying? I'm moving the fuck on. And I'm just going to keep working on myself because clearly I keep attracting you the same yous. I'm tired of that. So that was my journey. But once you separate from this person and you can realize that you can't get over them on a spiritual level, it's like, okay, yeah, well, something is going on because I can get over everybody. <laughs> like, I can get over everybody. I ain't going to be sitting around crying and weeping and sad about somebody. So that's how I found out I had one. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> what is going on around here? So I don't know. But whoever this is, though, this Divine Masculine, he upright. So, I mean, somebody is healing or they have healed. This could be somebody like, you don't, if you don't have a twin, you could have done a lot of work on yourself. You spent a lot of time single in solitude or you learned a lot of lessons through other people because you're definitely, I mean, it's only but so much healing you can do when you're by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to get out and explore and experience to gain wisdom. So I feel like you've done all that though. And now your person could be coming in. There's actual, it doesn't have to be a twin flame, but they're going to be in good masculine energy. They're going to be divine. It's going to be God sent. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands. This could be a divorce. <laughs> this could be a divorce taking place between them and somebody or you and somebody. But I'm definitely getting a lot of communication. Eight of Wands, King of Swords, King of Swords, and the Empress. There's going to be an honest honest talk here. And I feel like all you're going to do is soften right back up with the Empress. <laughs> that's you, like, softening back up. Something that's going to be said is going to put you in this Empress energy. Because I feel like this you as the Queen of Swords, you're like, you know, talk or leave me alone. And it needs to make sense. Like, you need to come with some correct shit because we ain't got time. And I feel like whatever, I don't know. Javier, turn that down. 
That's too loud near the door. Turn it down. Oh, I just got nauseous. Somebody could be pregnant or something. I don't know. You could be sick or somebody could be sick or something. <laughs> Ew. That shit feel horrible. What's the lovers? What's... Or you don't know. It's going to be in the near future. It could happen. <laughs> What's the lovers? Five of Pentacles. What's the lovers? But yeah, between you and this person both, y'all both have um left people out in the cold or y'all both could be walking away from something. What's the lovers with the five of pentacles? Yeah, the three of swords. Yeah, you you know y'all third parties is heartbroken. They mad, sad, whatever the fuck. We don't care, right, Taurus? I don't listen. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to talk about you bitches too long today. I'm just I don't have the energy. I already went off in Pisces reading. Everything that I feel is in Pisces reading. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not doing all that. So there's a third party that's that's heartbroken. Y'all might have to make a choice. Who are you gonna say goodbye to and who are you gonna keep around? There's major decisions in love here. I feel like somebody already made the decision. Same shit I told Pisces. Somebody already made the choice. Somebody feels left out in the cold. They're heartbroken, and you know. Because there are some nice karmics, you know, like I would say karmics like me, <laughs> like when I was a karmic, I was not walking around here doing spell work and being malicious and nasty and, you know, it was different kind of karmics. So I ain't going to get to cursing somebody out because I ain't digging too deep into it right now. But if you did wrong, you're going to feel it. And I say that's what the fuck you get, <laughs> period. But if you're just one of those people that's like something is over for you and it's a major cycle and you're trying to level up on your journey, then, you know, shit happens. It is what it is, right? You got to keep moving and heal so that way you can find better and do better. That's it. That's all. You know, I only get rowdy when it's comics that like acting like they ain't got no sense and doing weird shit. I don't like you bitches. I mean, y'all don't seem like y'all changing. And y'all y'all put on this earth for a specific reason. It seemed like those kind of comics, they're contracted to really, really be a nuisance to the whole world. Like they're contracted to do the worst things to people to help them awaken in some way. They're like sent from the devil himself to trick and test people and keep people stuck. You know what I'm saying? That's what it be feeling like with those kind of comics. Like, they're demonic. I swear, it be feeling like that. Yes, we have number seven, calm. Yeah, duality. Yep, yin and yang. Physical pain, freedom. Yeah, something physically. Something could be going on with somebody's physical body. Like, they... Or somebody is actually... Somebody's heartbroken so much or so bad that they're in pain. They're in physical pain. They, like, want to throw up. Like, how I feel... Somebody could be healing from something like a surgery or an accident, okay, or something. But something is heartbreaking that it physically hurts is what it sounds like to me. Well. So it says your soul. You may be feeling a kind of inner upheaval. You feel something important is on the way. You are afraid of making a mistake or you are afraid to believe. You are truly connected to your spiritual, intuitive, and psychic abilities. Everything you feel is correct and many things you have been waiting for are finally coming to you. This will bring you great joy, love, and happiness. You will feel complete. All your needs will be fulfilled. You will find yourself in a gentle and benevolent energy. You have long shed tears. I know I, com I comforted you. You thought you were alone, but I was there with you stretching out my hand. Yeah, this is your soul speaking to you. These tears brought you freedom, and now a beautiful smile is growing on your lovely face. This is nice. So it says, your spirit, guys. It says, you have already opened a new chapter in your life. Renewal is here. It is present in your energy, and you can feel it. We know it, and we continue to send you signs to confirm your feelings are correct. Yeah. So if you think you're, if you're a notice person, and you're at the jury, 11, 11 o'clock, yeah, this is a twin flame union for somebody. <laughs> 
if you already know your person and you've done the shadow work like really have done the work you're one of them twins that are coming to union in this lifetime just pray a lot of twins they don't make it because they can they're not doing their shadow work that's literally the only reason why twins don't make it it's not because oh they ain't meant to be together they ain't meant to come together you could be friends with your twin you don't have to choose to be with them but honestly well what i'm learning that's your divine that's your spouse that's the person you're meant to share everything with and you know as i go on my spiritual as i'm moving forward on my journey my twin flame journey and my own personal journey and just dealing with different people experiencing different people you get so deep into this journey that you won't be even be able to date outside of anything that doesn't if it doesn't feel like a twin you can't do it you feel what i'm saying like that's what it really feel like it feel like that if it's not a twin if you don't if it if it's not if it doesn't have that depth or meaning or whatever it's not powerful you can't do it if it's if it's too mediocre or too like it just won't work for you and you're going to be guided back to your twin that's just inevitable it's going to happen but for those of you that are you know what i'm saying struggling with doing the inner work and things like that then i don't know i'm sending you a lot of love and light i really am because it's a hard journey but you know some people are just more resilient than others and some people won't make it in this lifetime i just made up in my mind i'm not doing this shit again this shit was too hard i'm not doing this shit again i'm personally i'm not we gonna get this work done <laughs> like, I, that's what i be saying like intuitively when i'm manifesting that's what i'll be thinking like we're gonna get this work done i'm gonna do the work and this energetic cord is gonna flow to you and you're gonna do the work too <laughs> however long it takes you to do it but you're gonna do it like we're gonna expedite this it's gonna happen in divine timing but i know it's on really the person that awakens that's awakened first and realizing what this is once i seen what this is i'm like okay bet you gonna stay over there do what you're gonna do with the karmic and whatever the fuck the bitch is doing with the spell work and shit like that you know have your little fun because when your time is up i can guarantee you spirit is going to wipe you out the way and my mask is going to appear in physical form healed and ready to cater to me <laughs> like that's how that's how i be when i'm manifesting i speak things into existence like i don't give a fuck about the karmics or none of that because especially when they like that when they evil like that i really i know what time it is so i don't know this is for somebody that's like that that's like what i'm saying <laughs> like this is somebody that's not playing about their healing journey it's not even about getting back together with your masculine or any of that at the end of all this it's just about you healing you know a lot of you don't have twins so it's just about your healing journey and then because you know in your heart and your soul what you want so are you gonna do the work you gonna set your intentions but still just do the work for you at the end of the day because it all starts with you if you don't get your shit together you ain't getting nothing you ain't getting nothing that you want just period and when spirit says it's time for you to stop learning lessons now you master something all the way then that's when the shit is gonna come in i feel like this is what it is this is what it is here and it feels good it really does so i know you know it, you know <laughs> it is what it is child this is card number seven. Isn't this year seven? Are we in the year of seven? Um, what's that? The chariot? Yeah, willpower, determination, resilience, fortitude, pushing through adversity, triumph, success, victory. Yeah. Something could be happening before the year is over. But it says, um, Yeah, look, it said this is an important year for you. It will be rich in transparency, change, and honesty. You dare to say what you would like and what you want. You dare to show yourself as you are. You dare to raise your head and believe in your inner victory. This brings a wonderful energy of uncharted territory. It brings new relationships with others. Important documents will be signed, which will let you bring to life the renewal you have long been waiting for. Everything is there. All is well. Yeah, and it says the entity. I'll talk, I talk to you, but you don't hear me. You need calm moments of silence, moments of inner harmony. You won't find the answers you're waiting for from others. You won't feel my presence through others, but you will But you will by being in touch with yourself. Take a few moments to create true inner and outer calm. I never knew this calm when I was incarnated. There was far too much noise around me. I didn't listen to myself, which would have helped me to understand that I had the answers inside me all along. I gave far too much power to the words of others instead of my own thoughts. Yeah, listen to yourself. Be silent to hear my voice and yours. By taking a few moments in this place hidden from others, your den, your sanctuary, 
You can receive the answers and signs you can you expect from me. I am here waiting for you to create inner space so I can talk to you. Yeah, somebody's listening to their intuition. They listening to themselves here. Seems like it's a masculine. Or they could be, you could be a reader here or, or something with the high priestess. That could be you, divine feminine. But I feel like this is masculine that's listening. Are they listening to you and you're helping them to hear themselves? Period. Yep. Nice reading, Taurus. I love this for you. Okay. So this was your reading, guys. I hope it uh, resonated. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on make sure you guys press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings and i will talk to you guys later bye oh bye